Welcome to Al May. We are here to share tech knowledge with you. Let's get our journey started. Today, we are going to show you two ways to install Windows 10 on SSD. We have two parts in this video. Part one: Reinstall Windows 10 on SSD with installation disk. Part two: Install Windows 10 on SSD with reliable cloner. Nowadays, many users would like to upgrade old HDD to SSD with Windows installed, or reinstall Windows 10 on a new SSD because SSD has quicker access time, lower latency, less noise, and so on compared with HDD. How to replace hard drive with SSD and install Windows on it? Today, I will bring you two easy ways to achieve it. But before we start, here are something you should notice. Number one, it's better to back up important files in advance because personal data on the old hard drive will be removed during the process. And if you are a novice, you could back up the system as well to prevent unexpected system failures. Number two, SSDs are generally smaller than HDDs at the same price. So it's recommended to free up space on HDD by deleting useless files with disk cleanup, uninstalling useless programs, and so on. Number three, remember to initialize and format your new SSD in advance. A disk without initializing cannot be used normally. Number four, if you are using a laptop or your computer only has one slot. Just prepare a SATA to USB adapter to connect SSD. After all the preparation, let's check out the two ways. The first way is by doing a clean install. All the personal data on the system hard disk will be wiped out. This method requires a CD or USB drive to boot a computer. If you want to install Windows 10 on SSD without CD or USB. Or keep your data and programs intact. You can refer to Part Two to clone Windows 10 from HDD to SSD. Let's see the detailed steps. Firstly, we need to create a new and correct installation media for Windows 10. Download Windows 10 Media Creation Tool. Start it up. Then select Create Installation Media. USB flash drive, DVD, or ISO file for another PC, and follow the wizard to create installation media. Then connect the media to your computer and install SSD. Next, start your computer and press a specified key, usually it's F2 or F12, to boot into BIOS. Set the CD or DVD as the first choice, then start from it. Click Install Now in the initial Windows Setup screen. Type your product key or skip it if you have installed it before. Select Installation Type Custom. Select Partition on SSD to install Windows, and click Next. Wait until the process ends. Till now, you have successfully reinstalled the Windows 10 on SSD. Let's keep watching to see the second way. Clean install Windows 10 will erase all your data on the computer. Besides, it is time-consuming and troublesome. If you prefer an easier way to add new SSD to Windows 10 without CD or USB drive, you could use a reliable cloner, Alme Backupper. It's an all-in-one disk cloning software for Windows, which contains system clone, disk clone, and partition clone to meet the needs of different users. Now let's see the details. Run Alme Backupper to come to its home page. Click Clone, then select System Clone. Just select the SSD as the new location, and then click Next to continue. Confirm the operations. Tick SSD alignment 
to speed up the performance of SSD and click Start Clone. After a short wait, it will be finished. Remember to restart your computer and get into BIOS to set up your new SSD as the first boot option. Sometimes, users will receive error messages like, Windows cannot be installed to this disk. The selected disk is of the GPT partition style, and Windows cannot be installed to this disk. The computer's hardware may not support booting to this disk. For the first error, it may be caused by a ROM boot mod. Your computer only supports legacy BIOS, rather than both legacy and UEFI boot. And the tradition BIOS can only boot from MBR disk, so you can only install Windows 10 on an MBR disk. To resolve it, you could consider converting MBR to GPT or directly clone MBR disk to GPT disk referring to this previous video. For the second error, there are two possible reasons. First, your computer has hard disk protection enabled. Second, the SATA controller mode was set incorrectly. To fix this problem, you need to read the specification and confirm if the problem is caused by hard disk protection. If so, please remove it. If not, please change the controller mode in BIOS. If your BIOS shows AHCI, just change it into IDE. Now you have these two ways to install Windows 10 on SSD. Clean install and system clone. If you want to move Windows 10 from HDD to new SSD, to clone system to SSD with Ami Backupper will save you much time and effort. That is all about how to install Windows 10 on SSD. Hope this video could solve your problem. Want to know more about Aomei? Looking for more tech knowledge? Just subscribe us and leave comments. We are here to help you with any questions.